All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Excuse the mess. I just have no room for all this stuff. I'm still getting more stuff. Cousin Delbert just sent me a box the other day. Either way, I just want to say that uh, I drove a thousand miles total by the time I went up there, came home, drove around looking for a place to, I could keep my boat and sleep which was almost an impossible task. And in that amount of drive, I could have chose some really good places to go. You got guys around here making all these how to catch catfish videos. Well, I'm just gonna say that around here, we might not have the biggest fish in the country, but we are in the top four places in the United States of America as far as the easiness of catching catfish. The place we're going to today in this video is probably the worst section of Ohio River that you can fish. The reason it's bad, there's a lot of commercial fishing in this river. Commercial fishing that targets blue and flathead catfish, especially the large ones. It was one of the first sections of the river to go downhill from commercial fishing and these commercial fishermen had to spread their wings. And venture farther and farther away. When I fished in Paducah, Kentucky, that was the best section of Ohio River you could fish. It still had commercial fishing pressure pretty heavily, but the difference was is that river could constantly be replenished by the Mississippi River. The upper end of the Mississippi River is being hit hard by commercial fishing. But here we have a large river system that is not being completely blocked off by dams going south from that point of America. Blue cat are big time migrating fish. They will travel hundreds of miles if given the chance. So that area of the river gets replenished. The lower end of the Mississippi isn't targeted commercially for those large fish as heavily as it is up here. Down there they target more smaller fish for food. I know a number of people that live in this section of Ohio River and they'll all tell you it's the Dead Sea, it's a bad place to fish. I could have went to much better places to fish, but on this trip I kind of wanted to do like what I did going to Georgia. I wanted to hit places that other people have to fish that don't have the luxury of living on the Tennessee River like we do here. I left the house about six o'clock in the morning. I rolled into Catlettsburg, Kentucky. I was gonna put in at that ramp, but my GPS was losing signal as I was going through those flood walls and narrow roads. I finally made it out to the area of the ramp, seen a much better ramp across the river over in West Virginia, much wider with a nice parking area. So I found my way out of there, drove across the bridge into West Virginia, and I launched right there in the Big Sandy River. y'all there's not enough current in this big sandy river to combat the wind that's going to go around so i'm just a spin bait in this little hole i just put in at the ramp we're most likely going out to the ohio river which is just down here about a half mile uh right here in ashland kentucky kentucky that side west virginia that side ohio over there across the river i heard this was a dead sea and not a good place to fish on the Ohio River. I got up this morning about six, got in the water about one o'clock this afternoon, and we're gonna try to catch some kind of catfish on video. All 
I'll guarantee you that was a small flathead on there. He wasn't big enough to get the bait in his mouth. This thing's like 16, 20 foot deep, and then it drops down to 35. You can see this rock and rubble down here. There were some fish stacked around it. Looks like some old dock that's been flooded away over here. He was just barely going down, man. We'll give this spot a little longer. fish is rolling, so it's probably a blue cat or a channel cat. It is a blue catfish. Big Sandy River. I was just taking a picture of that for someone that told me I wouldn't catch nothing up in this part of the area. So everybody says this part of the river, the whole Ohio River system, they say it's the Dead Sea. So either way, this is a blue catfish. We ain't been here real long. Like I say, I came up here checking water temps to see if it was spawning temps or not, but we're very low 60s in this river right here. And there is a blue catfish. From right here, I can piss on Kentucky and spit on West Virginia and catch fish at the same time. If the wind would stop, I would throw a couple outlines. Till it does, we're gonna suspend. I'm not tying myself off to the bank because of these barges coming through here. One thing that makes this section of river very difficult to fish is the amount of barges in the water. I thought there was a lot of barges down on the Mississippi River and lower Ohio, but this place was even busier. There's a lot of coal and other stuff industry in this part of the country. And the barges were very active. All right, y'all, here comes a big barge right down this river, and there ain't but room for me and him. I'm getting out of this little thing. Uh, we're just going to go out in the Ohio. That way I can get, uh, move around these big barges. Yeah, it's just too much with these. They're going to be coming through here every 10 minutes, obviously. So, And this ain't just a tug. He's pushing a barge this time. It's still extremely swift here, even in, on this inside bend right up on the bank. This is where we're going to give it a shot for a little bit. Yeah, this thing is rolling. This is a raging Ohio River here. We won't need these suspended rods no more out here. I'm always complaining about no current down on Fort Lousy, and we definitely have current here. Y'all, since I've been fishing these Mississippi and Ohio rivers, I'm just going to tell you, I'm the only pleasure boat I see on these rivers. I never see anyone out here but me. It ain't like Fort Loudon where you can't get a spot at the ramp. I never see anyone. So, 
could be the danger of all these barges or the river itself. Rivers like this can be dangerous in a little bitty boat. In the summertime when this thing calms down and gets slack, it'll be a lot better fishing conditions. Let's see what happens here. I'll tell you what, y'all, right in the mouth of that sandy might not be a bad place for fish to accumulate. While this river's flowing this hard, the problem is, is all the barges coming in out of that area right there. Alright y'all, the first spot uh, wasn't panning out, wasn't getting nothing. I tried in the mouth of that big sandy there. The barges will not stop. They're literally running uh, both directions at the same time coming down this Ohio River. Even this big river, there's not much room for my little boat out here. So I wanted to stay in that big sandy because I done had a flathead bite and a blue cap bite the first 10 minutes I'm there. But the barges ran me out. So if this doesn't pan out here in another hour or so, I'm going to change tactics. Well, by gosh, we had a bite here. We'll stick it out a little longer. I'll tell you what, I've got plenty of bait. I'm gonna keep my bait fresh. This part of the river's tougher than where I was at in Paducah. Typically, when a river is in spring flow and high like this, you want to be fishing right along the banks and as far as you could see the banks of this section of Ohio River were just lined up with barges on both sides of the river. All right y'all I gotta be careful here this set of barges here just started clanging around I can see a guy right out here they're liable to move this one this one right behind me uh oh. There's another one on this side of me. Or they're liable to push one up in here and not know I'm in here. So this guy's just sitting in the main river here. So I gotta really watch what's going on here. I don't know what that guy's doing right there. He could be trying to put one up in here. So I gotta get out of here. There ain't much room, so I gotta move it. They about closed me off. I got out of there just in time. Looks like they're gonna put up over here. Okay, y'all. This barge, I swear to God, is coming down the river sideways. Long ways this way. And he might be putting in right here where I just got. I have moved five or six times over barges in no time. It don't matter where I go. I'm in the way. Now, is he gonna tie off right where I'm at? He's coming down sideways. Well, I ain't catching no fish, so I'm gonna eat a piece of cheese and watch the barges go by.
but we got another bite anyhow. We hooked up there. That ain't no channel cap. Oh, we got a blue cat out here in the actual Ohio. He ain't in the boat yet, but we got him by it. Yeah. Old blue catfish. Right here where I can piss on West Virginia, spit on Kentucky, and throw a rock and hit Ohio. Well, two blue cat, we know it ain't as bad as West Point Lake, Georgia. I only caught one there, so. That fish I missed looked like a small flathead. That's the second small flathead, I just ain't got a hook set in. Well, we're not skunked out here. After a couple fish, I had no idea where I was gonna stay. And I've had experience with this before. It can be hard to find a place with vacancy that's safe to park a boat and not get your stuff messed with and have the room for the boat. So I trucked out of there pretty early before the sun went down. I ended up getting a motel all the way south of Lexington, Kentucky, which is a good hundred miles away. But the thing is, is I stopped at every exit and motel I seen on GPS along the way. By the time I checked into the room, it was 1.30 a.m. By the time I laid down, it was about 2 a.m. So I laid in bed till probably nine o'clock the next morning. I got up, made the hundred mile ride back to the uh, green up area, which is still the same pool. And my initial plan was to fish below green up dam, which is a different pool. But as I was riding along the river, I come across the little Sandy river and they had a nice boat ramp there. And I figured, well, I'll just try it right here. All right, people, uh, this is the next day. It took me all night to find a motel. I had to drive a hundred miles away just to find one where I could park this boat that had a vacancy. So I'm here about one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm on the same section of Ohio River. This is the Little Sandy. Uh, yesterday we were at the Big Sandy area. We're gonna, we're gonna fish this area for a while. I may go down to the actual below the dam here today. We're gonna just find out what happens. The boat traffic was ridiculous here. I guess by the lack of barges being down there, that's where everybody went to put in their pleasure boats, bass boats. And so I didn't want to fish the Little Sandy. It was full of boats. It was full of kayak. So I went out into the Ohio River and set up on some heavy structure there right along the bank. It should have been a good spot.
spot, y'all. One little bitty nibble in 45 minutes right here. If you can't get a catfish right here, the main channel bite is just dead. I'd say 90% of the fish in this pool of the Ohio are up in all these feeder rivers and creeks. Water temps out here in the high 50s. Water temps in there in the 60s. Ain't got all this mud and trash in it. If I sit out here, I might not catch nothing. And that means I've only caught two catfish in two days. And that don't look good on my resume. After a while, I went back into the uh, little sandy to see if I could scan anything. seeing a whole lot so I decided I would continue with my plan of launching downriver of Greenup Dam. I had to drive over into Ohio to access a ramp that was about three miles downriver from the dam itself and when I pulled onto that boat ramp the water was high it was swift and there was a lot of trash big trees and stuff coming down the river. It was late in the afternoon I was tired and I'm thinking, man, that's a long ride up that river. And when the water is that swift, you're going to have to juice your motor up pretty good to plane out and gain any kind of ground. And I did not want to run fast in that river with all those big trees coming down it. So I abandoned the mission and uh, went back to the house pretty early that next day. Between the barge traffic, the river itself can be dangerous. Swift waters, debris, trees lack of quality fishing I would not recommend this as a road trip it's common knowledge it's not really good fishing until you get over to Cincinnati and then the farther you move down towards the Mississippi the better the fishing gets West Virginia supposedly has pretty good fishing but I did not want to venture up that way because I only had a Kentucky license at the time and there was limited amount of time in this day anyhow but West Virginia does protect their waters from commercial fishing, and you can find some good fish up there. And I will probably hit that in a future road trip. I wanted to fish a bad area of the country on purpose. I can go anywhere and fish. I can go to the easiest places in America to catch big fish. But that's not always a challenge to me, and I think that can get boring for viewers. This way I cover more ground I get in touch with the common man that fishes at these types of places. I didn't catch a lot, but I didn't get skunked. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day with another one. Signing out.